How's it going everyone? Today's topic is Affiliates Rest, Master Law Sector. Champions we're dealing with is Overload and Unstoppable. We'll be handling this as, as a Arc Titan. We will have a huge threat of Stasis, so I'd recommend for your armor chess piece here to switch on to your Stasis Resistance. As the two Overload champions, they tend to really hurt the most if you're not ready. If you're not used to just like kind of gun blazing running through it, you want to play it safer for Flawless, definitely put your, make sure your Resist match what the damage is going to be coming out to. So I would say definitely double Stasis here. Uh, you can run a void resist or you can run a solar resist either one works um i would probably say make sure you just i would probably say one void and then two stasis these two are really going to help you out as the boss will do some stasis damage everything else will um it won't be that big of a deal for you so uh, make sure you have um, if you're running armamentarium always run two grenade kickstarts if you're not running this exotic chess piece or you don't have it um, you can always run something else that will match up just make sure you always match your, your build to what your exotic armor is or what your weapon is doing right so always make sure that's paired up so same thing with your exotic, your arc siphon for our weapons we're running uh as our main damage glaive and thunderlord thunderlord taking care of overload uh and, and glaive is taking care of unstoppables connect weapon are doing wherever you want with so this kind of is optional just for champions what i was saying is with your arc siphon make sure your two weapons you're doing the most amount of damage with are matched up with your siphon right if this happens to be a wish ender for anti-barrier then you want to do is you want to go to your helmet here change this arc siphon to a um, kinetic siphon right make sure it always matches what you're gonna be doing the most damage with you want to get those free orbs out um, as it's just it's just free armor charges right if this I see so many people in uh, Grandmaster Nightfalls and other content uh, where their, their siphon isn't being changed depending on their weapons make sure you match them up so whatever you'll be killing either the most amount of say red bars with or whatnot or most amount of you're gonna use the most switch that siphon to match that um, and then for our build ashes assets again grenade build is our main focus here with grenade kickstarts so ashes asset only makes sense to have our old ult, uh, our super up it should be up around boss time uh, depending on how fast you run it uh, it may not necessarily be up for the first uh, two overloads uh, but i would definitely recommend um, these th these comboing together everything else is kind of optional whatever you feel like running uh, is kind of a combo so firepower grenade kickstart chest piece and then ashes assets with your arc siphon all everything else is kind of like whatever you want to do so we talked about resistances your feet as a titan you want to make sure you don't have a healing well so if you can run better already and recuperation will help out if you don't want to worry about healing uh, you can always swap these out for elemental charge or um i wouldn't recommend running a arc surge with your uh grenade kickstarts but if you wanted to get rid of kickstarts you can always swap these out for something else um that's going to focus on your grenades or may focus on melee or class ability then you can switch all these to armor to weapon surges, right? But don't ever pair them together. Don't do weapon surges with kickstarts. It's just not a good combo. Uh, Cause whenever you need your kickstart to happen, your surge has been putting your armor charges on a timer. So definitely recommend um, focusing on, oops, oh, sorry, I'll go to the bigger screen. But definitely recommend on kickstarts here. If you wanted to switch one of these out, say you don't like powerful attraction or you don't use your class ability enough, then switch this to proximity ward. If you use a finisher, you get an overshield, right? It's basically like a free heal. Right, so uh, I would recommend this really well. And then, if you want free orb of power, you can run Reaper. But um, ultimately, this is kind of my default for every single class. <laughs> All Hunter, Warlock, whatever. I always run one Reaper, one Bomber, and then one Powerful Traction, and it seems to work out. Also, I wouldn't mess with any of the other ones for the most part, as uh, they kind of interfere with your grenade kickstarts. Uh, but the um, uh, maybe you can run utility kickstart, but it's currently disabled. Um, but this is kind of my default for all of them. So if you're ever wondering what to run for the bond. Uh, the bond or the mark or the cloak uh, then that's kind of what i recommend and then for uh, the mods all arced out and then our build is going to be thunder crash because we love thunder crash uh rally bra rally barricade thunderclap there's no other really i mean you can use these options i don't really recommend them because you have to move around too much so it's not really worth it but uh definitely recommend pulse grenade if we're going to be using uh armamentarium pulse grenade it up spark of shock Ionic traces with uh, spark of ion and with our with our touch of thunder, so ionic traces every which way, which means more ability cooldown. So you can basically have your grenade up all the time. Remember, you get two charges, right? Grenade kickstart will give you that second charge all the time. So you're basically going to have either a full, depending on how much armor charge you have, but with, with the grenade kickstart and pulse grenades and ionic charges, and ionic traces and spark of ions, these are going to have. Um, you're gonna have like one, a, a full a full grenade come back or two grenades come back and you're just gonna be throwing them out all day long and it just chains and chains and chains right so it takes care of your overloads for you it's just real nice so uh spark resistance 25 percent damage reduction can't go wrong with it right always a benefit 
And then the other thing here, so this is my favorite thing. So knockout right now, a lot of people don't talk about it, but um, if you use your glaive, it'll count. It'll count for healing you. So you can actually defeat targets with melee attacks and it'll, it'll start health regen. So, I mean, if you're just glaive and meleeing people, using your shield, taking over unstoppables, whatever you're doing, throwing grenades like crazy, you're gonna be healing a lot with orbs dropping and then melees and such. So you're gonna be in a really good spot. So get that 100 resilience discipline to pair up with the armamentarium and it'll be good to go. You can also run a few different options. I will like to I'll make sure I give some options here also uh, for Titan. Uh, so Titan, you can always run point contact cannon. That's really good for it. Uh, we could probably run, uh, let's see. What else do we lack here? Uh, Scyther steps are pretty good right now. Um, so there's not, not, not very bad options. If you're running uh, void, you can always run, or if you're running void, you can always run no backup plans. Um, if you're running solar, you can always run uh, Lore, Lorelei's. Um, so that's not bad either for healing. So there are options, that's a good one. There's some, there's some bad <laughs> exotics at the moment for each of the classes, but there's some also some really good ones, but let's go and get into this. And let's get this going. I appreciate all the support, all the like and subscribe. You guys have been amazing. I gained another one today, so I really helped it, um, growing the channel out. You guys are amazing. Comment below with any questions or recommendations, and I always, uh, always like your guys' support, so thank you very much. All right, here we go. Shotgun, we got Glaive. Glaive's gonna be our favorite item to go with. And then, of course, uh, Thunderlord's just gonna be busted. But we're just gonna sit here. If we can piss off the uh, unstoppable enough, get him over here. There he is. Grenade. And then you can shotgun, or you can use your Thunderlord, or you can just punch him. Whatever you want to do. No preference here. See the, see the little thing above his head? It means. Oh, Come on, not you. The other one. See that thing above his head it means you can use a finisher on him. So you can just oh. Punch. Don't forget you're getting healed from knockout with this. You can just glaive, glaive, glaive. Right glaive, not heal from knockout, the other thing. Oh no. Yep, so now we're gonna stack up two grenades here. And we'll and we'll get ready to take out the overloads. Uh, but you want to make sure you take out as much of the red bars as you can. Use your shield as you need to. And go ahead and just destroy the unstoppable here. Okay, shield's up. He can't do anything to you. Look for the dot. See the dot? Finisher. Okay, now we're in a good spot here. So, if you don't have a grenade up, it's okay. We're running Thunderlord, right? So, you would say reload it if you want to, whatever it's at. You can hide from the overloads. And then once you're ready, grenade. Pick one you want, right? Focus one. Which of the other? Well, if any issue, it's just gonna do tons of damage. There you go. And then now we have whatever comes up to us. We could punch with our. We're gonna stab with our glaive. We're gonna try to focus these overloads real quick. All right? We don't want to deal with them. They're annoying to deal with here. We're gonna put our shield up early before we kill all the red bars. What it's gonna do is just do a little extra damage for us. Finish off some extra red bars here. You'll hear that. You'll hear the sound cue where everything spawns. There it is. Okay, grenade everything here. All oh, everything sending grenades. We have a ton of ion traces. You can sit back here. Things are just gonna die. They're all sorts of nonsense. This grenade spam with armamentarium, <laughs> it's just crazy. The melee, 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 done. So you have durability from your glaive, you have tons of damage, close range shotgun option, and then worst comes to worst, you don't waste Thunderlord, right? So any of these three weapons you can use as a comfort thing. Again, you can use different exotic weapons, different uh, kinetic weapon, whatever you want to use in between, but these are definitely good picks here. So finish it off. Three minutes on the dot. You can do this way faster if you just speed run through it. What I'd recommend is you have, if you have armamentarium, just throw your grenades all day long. Glaive any of the champions you need to down. And then if worse comes to worse, if something needs to reload, switch to Thunderlord, Thunderlord and it will just absolutely melt everything. So hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Appreciate all the support. Another subscriber today, so I really appreciate the support. 
Um, I do stream on twitch.tv slash the big prime. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.